Tomo News presents Future of Robotics Technology. Robots are going to steal all our jobs. Looks like 400 to 800 million people worldwide could be out of a job by 2030 thanks to good old automation. The Kinsey Global Institute looked at 800 different jobs across 46 countries and found up to 20% of the global workforce could get kicked to the curb. Wealthy countries like the U.S. and Germany will have to retrain about one-third of their workforces. Factory workers and fast food workers are in the most danger. Poorer countries won't have to worry as much about the rise of the robots, for now. Other jobs in jeopardy from automation are mortgage brokers, paralegals, accountants, and office administrative workers. Jobs that require more of a human touch, like doctors, teachers, bartenders, and lawyers, should be okay. Wait a second, the world could always use fewer lawyers. This robot water snake hunts pollution on autopilot. Meet Lake Geneva's newest swimmer, the EnviroBot, an autonomous pollution hunter. Gulp! The EnviroBot is four feet long and comprises several special purpose modules that constitute its eel-like design. The purpose of these modules are twofold. First, each has a small electric motor that lets the robot swim like a water snake. Secondly, each segment has a unique sensor for gathering a variety of data. For example, biological sensors contain tiny organisms or bacteria that react to the presence of pollutive toxins. Meanwhile, electrical sensors can track water temperature and chemical sensors test water acidity. More modules can be added as needed. The robot can swim on a route or make its own way through a body of water to find the source of pollution. And while it's very cool, uh, we're not exactly sure we'd want it swimming beside us. Cutest robot ever. Sony's Ibo robot dog is back after playing dead for a decade. And not only is it adorable, it's also a heck of a lot smarter. The mechanical pup is equipped with ultra-compact actuators that allow it to do a plethora of lifelike dog movements and OLED puppy eyes to show a range of expression. Ibo can form emotional bonds too, or so Sony claims. The robot dog will actively seek out its owners and learn what makes them happy. Its behavior also changes over time as it adapts to its environment, eventually forming its own unique personality. All thanks to AI. But as with any purebred Japanese dog, Ibos are expensive. A unit costs over 1700 US dollars, and that's not including the mandatory monthly plan. You may not be spending on kibble, but your RoboPub needs its daily dose of data. The basic plan provides LTE and Sony Cloud access for less than $30, though you're locked in for three years. Definitely a pricey pup. Anyone who's willing to blow money on a mechanical canine companion can pre-order theirs ahead of the January 11 release date. But know that it's only available in Japan. MIT researchers create 3D printed robot skin. These robot cubes are wearing MIT's latest creation. Researchers at MIT have developed 3D printed skin for robots. The skin protects robots and helps make their movements more precise. The skin is made of a programmable viscoelastic material. Unlike purely elastic substances, a viscoelastic substance has an elastic component and a viscous component. Viscoelastics are able to dissipate or dampen energy where elastics cannot. Through 3D printing, the skin's elasticity can be manipulated by altering the amount of liquid material inside. A solid, a liquid, and a flexible rubber-like material called Tango Black Plus were used in the printing process during testing. When tested on bouncing robots, the creations with more liquid-concentrated skin bounced higher and landed with more precision. The work was supported by a grant from the National Science Foundation. Walmart robots are here to help. Walmart is enlisting automated help to improve out-of-stock issues and mislabeled items. Walmart robots are equipped with a camera and lights that can scan the aisles to check stocks and identify mislabeled or wrongly priced items. The robot passes the data to human employees, who then restock the shelves and fix any errors. The retail giant stresses that the machines will not replace staffers and are merely there to help them. The robots are 50% more productive than human employees at shelf scanning and are capable of doing it faster and more accurately. Walmart has been trialing robots in California, Pennsylvania, and Arkansas for the past three years and will be expanding to 50 more locations in January of 2018. 
So if you live in El Paso, Fort Worth, or Jacksonville, it seems the robots are coming. Who would have thought? Origami. Scientists from MIT and Harvard wanted to make robots that were soft and compliant, yet had strength similar to hard-bodied systems, so they turned to origami for inspiration. They made devices that could grip, lift, and twist objects and sealed them in a polymer bag and filled them with air or other fluids. Vacuuming the air out allowed for movement. The team discovered the origami muscles could squeeze down to a tenth of their original size or lift up to a thousand times their own weight. Soft robotic limbs could be used in the future on small scales within the body or on large scales for outer space construction. NASA's making bumblebee. NASA researchers are working on robot bees. According to new NASA plans for Martian exploration, robot Mars bees would use a rover as a mobile base for operations and charging. They can stay airborne for four to six hours. The space agency says the Mars bee is the size of a bumblebee with a wingspan similar to a cicada. According to NASA, the low Martian gravity reduces the power requirements for generating lift. It's because of this, researchers have incorporated a flapping wing design with a torsional spring to absorb wasted energy. The Mars bees will also be equipped with sensors and wireless devices. They'll use these to further map and sample the red planet, as well as search for methane gas, a key indicator of life, and farts. Researchers create robotic device to aid the heart. This device can help weak tickers keep on beating. The plastic device is placed around a damaged ventricle and is powered via air pressure. It then squeezes the heart to help it circulate blood throughout the body. The mechanics of the device are said to be adaptive to the organ's normal beating rhythm. It so far has only been tested on animal hearts. but it has the potential to one day help the millions of people suffering from heart issues. Funeral robot priests are ready for hire in Japan. A Japanese company has decided to totally take the life out of funerals by using SoftBank's humanoid robot Pepper as a Buddhist priest for funerals that you can hire. With the help of some software upgrades, Pepper can now chant sutras in a robot voice while tapping on a drum. The priest bot was on display at a funeral trade show in Tokyo on Wednesday. The robot provides a cheaper alternative than getting a human priest. Old school priests will run you around $2,200, while Pepper only costs around $450 per funeral. Pepper can be outfitted in different robes depending on the wishes of the customers. They can also live stream the ceremony to people who aren't able to attend the funeral in person. Pepper hasn't been hired yet, but maybe if you're planning on dying soon and happen to be in Japan, this may be just the service for you. How would taxation of robots work? Calls from the British Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn to publicly manage automation this week have led to speculation he's looking to tax robots, but how would that work? Replacing workers with robots means less salary and more profit for businesses, but also less taxes on salary for the state to collect. Any robot tax would likely need to fill this gap in public finances. The Institute for Fiscal Studies estimates that the British government will collect £716.5 billion for the tax year 2016-2017. 43.1% or 308.6 billion pounds of this is contributed by the 30 million people in the British workforce. Separately, a PwC study estimates that 10 million British workers may lose their jobs to automation. If permanent and not counting the amount the government may save from automation, this would lead to a shortfall of 92.6 billion pounds or 30% in what the British state collects. A flat robot tax may help fill this gap. However, calls for automation to help people live comfortably via state-provided benefits, such as universal income, may well see automation taxes rise. But such a move would likely scare off private industry from investing in the United Kingdom. The robots aren't on their way, they're already here.